Hey everyone, this is Alex Spaeth, and today I'm going to show you how to make a vertigo slash dolly zoom effect with the Zhiyun Smooth 4 Mobile Stabilizer. So a couple weeks ago, I, I posted this time lapse of Mount St. Helens uh, with a dolly zoom slash vertigo effect I added in post. Now Zhiyun they reached out to me and asked me if I could recreate that with their new mobile stabilizer. So I said, sure, let's do it. But first, let's see what's in the box. What's in the box? Let me get it open. All right. So, nice solid foam case. We have a USB-C to USB charger, a nice tripod stand, and the actual product. So, let's screw this in real quick. Just stand right here. Now, what you also want to do before you start using this is download the ZY Play app, and that allows you to interface between the Smooth 4 and the phone's control, which is actually the coolest aspect of this control is that it, you can use these controllers, these buttons and dials and knobs and switches to remotely use this without having to touch the screen. So, just put it in here. Sure it's tight and the way you do that is releasing here and making sure that it stays in place wherever you put it. So I'll power on the smooth four, load the app, you already see it's stabilizing and I'll connect my device which is via Bluetooth. All right, and just a quick update on what these buttons do. So there is a, a number of switches. There's a menu item which controls all the camera settings. Display will quickly move to display. This takes a picture. This takes a video, starts a video. This grid button. Um, changes between what this knob does. So by default, it controls the zoom, which is what we'll be using for the vertical effect. And if you click it, it will actually change the focus. So you can do a lot of really cool creative things with this small device. Another aspect is if you need to charge your phone, which is a necessity if you're doing a long day of shooting on this device, there's actually a way to get a USB-C to a lightning port or whatever your phone takes so it actually can charge your phone while you use it, which is really neat. So one of the aspects that you can get from the menu item is in the camera setting is vertigo. So the concept behind a vertigo effect actually comes from Vertigo the movie, which is an Al Al Alfred Hitchcock film. And the concept is to create a kind of an alarming feeling. So while you're approaching the subject, you're zooming out or vice versa. So while you're leaving the subject, you're zooming in. So you're always keeping the subject in focus, but the depth of field changes, and so it creates this vertigo effect. So it's also just known as a dolly zoom, but it's been around for many, many years and used in several different films, like Jaws. Is another very popular example. So with this, you can do this a couple different ways. One way is to just do it manually, so We'll, I'll show this out in the field because it's a super nice day outside in Seattle and we can play around with something. I'll go around fountains or something, but one way to do it is just by manually 
zooming in and zooming out as you back up or approach the subject. Another way is to actually go into the camera mode, the vertigo effect, and create specific waypoints. And that, what that does is it basically keyframes the phone's zoom to change as you go back or forth from the subject matter. What I think is really neat if you have time to do that, it will make it better. So you can control how fast or slow you're going exactly from point A to point B. And it's not having you to kind of, oh, I'm moving, I'm wait, going too fast or too slow. There's a lot of different ways you can set this up there. So I'll show you both ways outside. Okay, so now we are at the Seattle Center and I have my little swimming trophy from way, way back when. And I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, keyframes or waypoint method. So the way I'm gonna do this is by connecting my device. Okay, so now that my screen is recording, I'm gonna do a little waypoint. Let's transition this. Uh, see what is going on right here. All right, so I'm gonna put this guy right here. And then do is press menu, camera, go to vertigo and then I'm gonna have this all wide out so as wide as you can go as my first waypoint and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we'll zoom all the way in on little guy, we'll set that as the second waypoint. And now, I'm going to go back in and let's we'll start this up. So we're gonna press play there. You can see that it is doing the vertigo effect and I didn't have to control or you know touch any of the zoom dials at all while I was doing it. So let's try let's try it again. Let's let's do it manually. So this time I'm going to start zoomed in on the little guy and then I'm slowly going to go backwards. So Let's just track that guy. I'm always zoomed in. Just make sure, okay. And then I'll slowly zoom out as they get closer to him. And then do the same thing on the way back. Let's play and watch that. So clearly you have a little bit more freedom if you, you know, you can control this however, however much you want in the field. You don't have to have the waypoints. But it is nice if you have a controlled environment and you know exactly the shot you want to get. Um, then you can do that yourself. It's beginning to rain a little bit more now, which is classic Seattle, even though it was a beautiful day. So I'm gonna head back inside. We'll take a look at this footage and I'll show you some more information. So for $139, this device can really up your mobile filmmaking game. I know for one, this would be extraordinarily useful for 
me when I'm hiking or backpacking and I want to tell stories that are more cinematic because I already do that with, with my Instagram stories and time lapsing, doing any sort of thing that you'd want to do. The device is, has these features that are just built in and it's super neat and convenient. It's fairly light and it lasts for hours and hours and hours. There's a white version of this that costs $159 to match your white phones. And so there are a bunch of different YouTube tutorials out there right now on the various features of this device. But if you'd like me to go do a rundown of all the different features from motion time lapse to the go mode and, and all the different creative things you can do with this device, please let me know in the comments and I will work on that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And if you'd like to see any more videos, whether they're tutorials, reviews, or vlogs from my travels around the world, hit the subscribe button. Thanks again and have a great day.